Bajka je priča o običnim ljudima koji se suočavaju sa životnim iskušenjima i kroz njih hrabro koračaju. U svojoj suštini, bajka je priča koja nas podsjeća da se čuda ostvaruju i da vera i prijateljstvo pobeđuju sve. A najlepše bajke su upravo one koje život ispiše. Fuen Labrada je mesto gde je pre više od 30 godina bajka počela. Beograd je sada mesto gde nova poglavlja te bajke počinju da se pišu. 13. september sa početkom od 18 časova Open Air, košarkaški spektakl pod otvorenim nebom. Partizan de Fuen Labrada. Partizane, ti si sve što mene pokreće, vera mleđa ti ne okreće. Dok za tebe borim se, zastava mi ori se, simbol moje večne pobune. Neka sada ova pesma nebo prolomi, neka probude se duhovi. Samo jedno želim ja, da nam plamen večno sja, ne sa uvek živi partizane.
njegov tata je igra košarku. A njegova mama ako ne bude...
Evo, čestitke javno pred kamerama za navijačite Partizana. 
Hvala. Si slegli u cici, si imao vremena se odmoriš, da ti je još zuji ušima posle jet lega i znaš gde si? Ne, nisam, gde, znam gde sam, ali nije se sleglo još emotivno, traje i dalje, iskreno i jako sam srećan zbog svega što smo uradili za Srbiju i stvarno ispunjenje si tih nekih naših dečačkih snova, kao što sam već pomenuo. Treba će vremena da se malo odmorim, treba će vremena da se slegnu utisci i stvarno osjećaj i trenuci koje ću pamtiti ceo život i kojim ću svojim da će Bog potomcima prepričavati. Ti prije ovog olika popularnosti ili izdržavaš oliko fotografisanja, potpisa i svega ostalog? Ja iskreno nemam... Nemam... Pan Zegeren. Pa ne, popularnost, mi smo, mi smo svi, svih 11, svih 12 igrača i Bora koji nije mogo da nam pomogne na terenu, ali nam je pomagao na neke druge načine. Stvarno smo se skupili, nismo osjećali tu neku popularnost, znali smo da nam je cilj da Srbiju usrećimo i u tome smo uspeli i živimo sad lepe trenutke i živet ćemo ih celog života. Koliko si dobio slobodno kad se prebacuješ na klupske obaveze? I dalje se tu sa Željkom. Pregovori traju. Traju, traju, traju. Šalim se, ne, imam dogovor stvarno koliko mi je potrebno. Odmorit ću narednih par dana, ići u moj čačak. Ja ne mogu bez mog čačka dva dana, tako da ići u moj čačak. Za kraj, kako ti se čine ovi momci? Fenomenalno, jedva čekam da se priključim i da krenem u nove pobede. Hvala još jednom i za ovo i za sve što si nam priredio i zadovoljstvo i da ovo predivno leto koje si krenuo s partizanom i reprezentacijom nastaviš uz svo zdravlje da te povrede do kraja karijere mi moj iđu. Hvala Tegi, hvala puno. Fener Negru.
Matush. It's your first game in Belgrade and first appearance in front of fans here. Huge victory. Your comment about everything. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, uh, we prepared the game. You know, outside uh, of the arena, it's, it was really nice. I think it's a nice experience for both of the teams. I know the history about the the game, and you know, it was just nice that the, the fans came so you know so many of them and supported us so much. You know, so loud. It's gonna be fun. Four games so far, but two games on the stadium or outside. Did you forgot to play inside the gym? <laughs> yeah. Three actually, three games outside because we played. Yes, yes, my mistake. Nine, one here. So, yeah, but the next game is going to be more like, let's say, normal games inside, and we're going to play Alba League uh, Super Cup, right? Cup, Super Cup. Yeah, so it's going to be a good challenge for us, and you know, chance to to win important games from the beginning of the season. Thank you very much. Thank you. PJ, your first game in Belgrade in front of Partizan fans. What are your first impressions? Uh, it was amazing, amazing atmosphere, man. Uh, you know, I can see why they got that that crown title of being the best fans in the league, so uh, or in the world at that. So, um, you know, I'm definitely blessed to have this opportunity to play in front of them, and uh, you know, plan on taking advantage of it. Third game outside, how do you like it? Did you forgot to play inside the gym? Uh, nah, you know, growing up, you know, we always played outside, so it was kind of good to get back to the roots, uh, you know, get a little childhood feel. But uh, you know, being able to play outside as a professional um, was exciting. Fireworks, it's not every day you see it. Definitely. Uh, you know, I caught myself, you know, watching the fans rather than paying attention to the game quite a bit. Um, so, you know, it was, it was fun. It was, it was an exciting uh, experience, and, you know, I'm looking forward to more. It seems like you guys are already playing pretty good basketball. Uh, you know, yeah, I think, you know, we're definitely feeling each other out. We got uh, some work to do, um, but, you know, we got a great group, and we're excited. Frank, your first game in Serbia, first game in front of Partizan fans. How do you like it? Atmosphere, game, everything. That was fun. It was really cool. Atmosphere was great. Uh, fans are wild. I've never experienced something like that before, so I can't wait to see what it's like in the arena itself. How do you come in the game? You had a very, very huge victory. It's not the most important thing during the preseason, but it's always good to win. Absolutely. Um, it's all about building, getting better together. Um, you know, there's some differences from the game I got to get better with. Um, just, just learning the intricacies, different stuff that you know the game from the NBA to here. So it's been good. The preseason's been good. I'm getting more and more comfortable, and uh, our team's starting to come together better and better. You know, when you play games like that, you want to win and you want to win big. So we did. Did you expect things to? It seems like click so easy. Um, I mean, there's a lot of continuity on the roster. Um, a lot of guys who have played together for a couple of years. So. Um, that makes it easier for me because they know what to expect and I'm able to ask them questions and they can tell me where I need to be. Um, you know, if I don't, if I'm, if I'm not thinking of a play fast enough or a defensive assignment fast enough, I can ask someone on the court and they know. So it's, it makes things a lot easier. And what's it like in the, in the locker room? It's, it's good. We got a good group of guys. Um, you know, it's fun. Uh, we've enjoyed each other. You know, this, this preseason's been fun. It's made the transition for me coming to live out here a lot easier. So um, it's just been great. Bajka je priča o običnim ljudima koji se suočavaju sa životnim iskušenjima i kroz njih hrabro koračaju. U svojoj suštini, bajka je priča koja nas podsjeća da se čuda ostvaruju i da vera i prijateljstvo pobeđuju sve. A najlepše bajke su upravo one koje život ispiše. Fuen Labrada je mesto gde je pre više od 30 godina bajka počela. Beograd je sada mesto gde nova poglavlja te bajke počinju da se pišu. 13. september sa početkom od 18 časova Open Air, košarkaški spektakl pod otvorenim nebom. Partizan de Fuenlabrada 